Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. I don't, I don't see myself. Hey! <laughs> Welcome back to SoCal Chronicles. It's your boy, Slep, joined by Pion Pion. How you doing, bud? I like that. Okay, man, following with so much momentum. As SOH at 140. Oh, that that's was going to be the one. Oh, that was super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, really good call out, you know, like, calls out the normal get up. Right. So, he, but he kind of baited it a little bit, right? He did the dash dance in place at roll range. Yeah. He kind of dashed in, rolled to the ledge. Right behind him for the normal getup, scooped him up, put him behind him. Yeah, so I really like what, from what I saw from Fallen. It's a lot, right? Yeah. But going for that edge guard is the game, so you always take it. You always take that chance. Okay, that's right, yeah. Out of jumps. He does manage to get out, and so now he's able to play neutral again. Okay, oh wow, reads the dash with the F smash. SOH is oh, that back here, man. He goes back. way out there. He, okay, so what you noticed on stage is that SOH was standing in a really specific space where he could react to any splat bomb. He could react to any roller. He could react to dash stack, like a jump move. He's just kind of sitting there waiting. Yeah. And then Fallen kind of takes that space a little bit, tried to take the dash stack. Sure. SOH walks a little bit to the right and then just F smashes him. And then he gets that edge guard because of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, he is, every character has this kind of, like, Zone and he's gonna be leaving pools from Winterside. Rich Brown, of course, is gonna make it into uh, the bracket as well. But uh, from losers, that was nuts. What do you got there, Slep? A player, yeah. And I'm always excited to see him play. And sure. his opponent, uh, Idris. Idris. He's a player. <laughs> we'll find out. We don't know anything about Idris. Oh, well, soon. He looks like a cool dude, too. Yeah, yeah, rock on that V-neck, rock on the watch. Oh, yeah. That's a Rolex. If you look, where's the zoom? <laughs> that's, that's not a watch. That's his wristband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just like paper wristband. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yeah, we're in the same one, actually. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, another oh, down oh. smash, though. What a read. Again, saying, hey, you want to press buttons at a disadvantage, I'll be there to cover him. Oh, uh -oh. no jump. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Nico is a legend for that, dude. <laughs> Nico, is, Nico is a legend for that. You know, it's Nico's Falcon. But wait, it's not gonna go snake. No, 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 I, I think that the way that jump steady plays Palutena is more of kind of like a zoning spacing play style. And Villager thrives on being able to have the space to actually do things. And so when you give Villager that space, you know, you allow the Villager to have some semblance of a way to play the game. Whereas ZSS has the brush down to kind of just shut Villager down. You know, if you don't let Villager get himself set up, then you know, he really has to pick his spots as to where he airs out a shield, where he forward airs, that kind of thing. And if you're a character that can get on top of Villager really quickly, especially when they're doing things like side B, you know, it, it, it's just a really good matchup for them. So, the best of five. Hey guys, Nico does not want to talk to anyone. He just wants to go home, so I guess that means it's time to say goodnight. Thank you everyone for watching. Yep. Um, goodbye. To the, wait. Oh, okay, to I'm, the skies. To the skies. This is my first time. I'm really <laughs> excited. Yeah. Fundamentals will carry through, and we're seeing him do super well now, today. Now, Tree, Duck Hunt, uh, these guys have never played before. Mm. These guys have literally never played before. In Smash 4, either? Ever. That's funny. That's so what Silver Fox told me is. And so, uh, Tree, to get here, beats Snaggle and that one other dude. <laughs> That's an awesome tag. Yeah, it's pretty well, good. It's very confusing, yeah, though. Someone. I, I want to change my tag to someone at some point. I beat someone or who? I yeah, beat someone. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's shady. Uh, Tree, you told me this yourself. You said, yo, Tree's dunk up's great. He's His can is he, is something else. He, he's got a big can. <laughs> Low man. The apocalypse it, blows, stripes, it blows up. The apocalypse stripes, you want you want whatever's in Tree's can. That's true. No, he he's very cognizant of what direction the can's gonna go like every single moment. Like a scramble happens where the can gets hit in a weird direction, he knows what direction it's gonna go when he presses the B button. Like. Yeah, you know, Duck Hunt's one of those weird characters where what is this hand warmer? This is the weirdest hand warmer. Like, <laughs> There's just two dogs on the screen. Is Ivy Sword a dog? I, I don't know. I, I think he's more like a cow. He's I've, heard like, so, I've heard him called the what? flower cow. He's like a plant dog. He looks a bit, a bit, uh, you know, bovine. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I was going to say the word bovine. That, right there. No, that's good. I like it. Um, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure he's a dog, but uh, he's also probably like a lizard. Yeah, he's he's some conglomeration. Yeah. Anyway, if there was a lizard dog, he's it, it. would be Ivysaur. Yeah, yeah, he's it.
Uh, Tree turns around and says, a plant frog. A plant frog? So There's no way that's a frog. Uh, yeah, yeah, we could agree on that one at least. <laughs> Tree is tripping balls. <laughs> <laughs> tree, whatever tree. I think I think tree swallowed a plant frog, but now he's seeing lights. <laughs> All right, but anyway, Silver Fox. He's so close. There's an up air. One or oh, two more. Whip. Oh my goodness. So threatening. Can Silver Fox make this happen? He does. Silver Fox is the champion. He is popping off. Silver Fox is your Sen Cal standoff 2019 champion. Getting it done. Silver With the, I mean, he told me he said I'm winning this whole tournament. And he does. Dude, Silver Fox <laughs> this whole tournament has just been a pillar of consistency the whole time. He not for a moment wavered. He was always stoic in the face of any adversity. Yes. This guy picked apart everybody yes. in his way. Yes. Silver Fox. He won some jewelry. He earned it, baby. He earned it from winner's side, unchallenged, uncontested. The first Sen Cal champion of Sen Cal standoff. 100 something person tournament, 150 person tournament? No. 124? Let's 224. 6,000! A super mage! And <laughs> Silver Fox is the champion. Okay. Yeah, that almost looked like game game one all over again. Needs the roll? roll? Yeah. And and the what's doing that for him, what's allowing him to get these uh, grabs on the rolls and punishes, is every time he pivots back, he's just repositioning himself, uh, putting himself a little bit further away so that when RVR product picks that defensive option, you know, he's there to punish it. If he doesn't pick that defensive option towards him, you know, he'd lose nothing. Right. I'll smash. Yeah, that's the MKLeo classic. Kind of finish the Dancing Blade a little bit early. Just yeah. wait, see what they do, and then throw that up smash out. I don't think there'll ever be another player that uses the Dancing Blade as well as MKLeo does. Uh, he seems to use, it's it's kind of his uh, Swiss Army knife. Yeah, he did, he, there's so many tools that it has, you know, and it, with the different angles and whatnot, and Leo seems to have lapped out so many different iterations. Oh! oh and what, you, what we kind of saw right there was Rose was recovering pretty linearly. He would jump back to the ledge, air dodge, try to get Show to like run off stage and try to hit him and then yeah. miss with the air dodge, and then he would try to up B. Oh, Bark is looking a lot more comfortable in his movement right now. Earlier, that was what I was noticing. Oh, oh my that is it. God! That is Marcus, it! Marcus, did you just do that to this man? 2%! Only 2%! What a dichotomy we're seeing between Game 3 and Game 1. Yo, I, I, I see Marcus suddenly is having fun right now. Jump down air. He buffered it down air totally. after that up but the platform got in the way. Not last still, weaving his way in, not letting the crowd protect him, at least as much as he can. Capitalizing on is the habit of Barkus for landing right on his head. He's still doing it. Still Every doing it. Every single time he breaks out of the combo from disadvantage, he's landing on his head. <gasps> oh, and he's dead for what? it! He went for it and he died for it! We got Nano and Kia yeah. to start things off. 15 stocks on each side. Kia, the Pikachu, versus Nano. Why are they counting down when they could just start the game? I don't understand. Yeah. I mean, but expect it regardless. Uh, it's cool, I don't care. Yeah. Do, do your thing. Uh, Kia starting off with a very, very campy, uh, yes. campy play he, style. I played him round one, he started the same way. And this is his way like to evaluate, at least the way, the way I see it. Like, this is how yeah. he's evaluating his Well, life. have you heard uh, Salem talk about how he kind of runs around and just nares? He apparently does that when he doesn't know what to do. And so he's just kind of figuring out where, where am I in regards to this guy? Yeah. What like what buttons am I going to press that he's not going to expect, essentially? That's how you have to play against Hero. I think you have to play yeah. really, really safe. You know, you don't want to whiff moves in front of him. Like, I think I feel like attacking into Hero is one of the harder things to do. And the, the way that people have theorized counterplay to Hero is rush down, right? Everyone thinks that a character that moves really quickly and you know keeps them at disadvantage is probably going to do it, and I think they will. But another part of it is if you can out camp Hero, because Hero loves to think, he likes to go into thinko mode, press the down B button, right? If you can play a character that can interrupt them trying to do down B menuing, or you know, Hero wants to stand on the other side of the stage of you and like do down B menuing. I think that that won't be the case in a month. I think in a month. Hero will do some down B menuing to figure out what buff they're going to get, and then they're going to start attacking you with their normals. But right now, I think it's the meta for Hero is kind of centralized around pressing down B. And the way that you play against that is, you know, don't even get close. Wolf laser from across the stage. Like, hold Reflector, you know, play Palutena. Play, Palutena destroys this character. 
So I, I think that yeah. I think that overall, like the counterplay to hero is just not developed. And to complain right. to complain about concepts that are theoretical about how this character is broken without really having ample time to adapt to that is not fair. Hey guys, I just want to say thanks so much to the stream organizations for working so hard and for having me on the mic. If you like my commentary, consider following me on Twitter at slep underscore GCE, as I do tweet out whenever I work an event. You can find my personal live streams at twitch.tv slash slep underscore GCE as well. Thanks for watching my reel. Peace out.